Hey everybody, I'm Nate Anime, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back on GTA Online to yet again another Itasha drip fed from Rockstar. This one is the Ocelot Juggler, and this is going to run you about a mil two hundred thousand, I think. Um, let me check. Yep, it's going to run you about yep a mil two hundred twenty-five thousand. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, one thing though, I will say, um, since I'm not doing a drip fed vehicles anymore, there's no more, um, surprise aspect anymore. What I mean by that is, normally I would get, you know, I would just buy the car and then become surprised when I find out, oh, this has Natasha on it. But now, in order for me to, um, do a video such as this, I have to, um, kind of like, I don't know, get news a little bit earlier than what I'm supposed to, and... You know, see if you know this car has has like an Itasha wrap on it or something like that. All right, this car is a sports car. Interesting. I think we only have like maybe ten or maybe eight or ten four door sports cars in this game. I'm not sure, but pretty interesting. It looks pretty good. Um, if you don't know the real life variant of this car, um, well, I can say it is a Jaguar based on its looks and the um, logo that's advertised as this is the spoof version of uh, Jaguar Ocelot it sounds pretty good not bad alright we're gonna take it over to uh, Los Santos customs ooh wait wait wait, wait. You, are you hearing that let's try that again ooh that pop Mm. Has a really good pop to it. All right, gonna start with the front bumper. Not bad. Um, ooh. Okay, I think we'll do the exposed intercooler. Um, not sure about these canards. Um, honestly, I might just leave that stock exhaust. Now I wonder if this will change the exhaust sound, because this thing already does some really good popping action. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with the twin, uh, dual twin exhausts. Fenders. Uh, um, I, you know, I'm not actually feeling that. No. Um, I might put it on secondary just in case. Um, I do find some good pink customizations with this. Oh, okay, up in the front. Um, I think I'll go with that one. I like that one better. Okay, the hood. All right. Okay, we got a carbon option here. Um. Mm, not much. I'll go with the carbon. Liveries. That one looks nice. I can probably picture that in like black or something. And then we got this one. A little bit resolute. Low res, if I'm correct. That looks a little bit. Yeah, it looks a little bit low resolution there, um, Rockstar. What's up with that? Um, then we got the Redwood livery. J Keys, Fukuro, and the Tasha Liberty with Wasab Shiny Wasabi Kitty. Um, also from Princess Ro Robot Bubblegum. She has, uh, I think she has like two cars in here. This will be the second car. Uh, I think the first car is the Sentinel Classic, and this one is the Ocelot Juggler. Uh, interesting though, both of them are European cars. In fact, the last Itasha was a I'm not European, but German car, really. Okay, this is um, this is a British car. Last car was a German car. It was BMW. But yeah, they're all they're all either German or British cars for uh, Itasha's. I mean, what except for the Futo and the Sultan RS? Those are both Japanese. So 
Okay, let's see what the other ones have. Ooh, the Sprunk is not actually that bad. But Atomic logo, Prolap, and that's about it. Okay, um, gonna go with the shiny Wasabi Kitty, of course. Uh, we'll figure out the colors later. Let's get to the rest of it. Carbon roof, which I might just realize again. We are able to put liveries on carbon roofs now, so I guess it's just a new thing. Rockstar just added this into the game because the last car we were able to do this, so we we're able to do it on this game, on this car too. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put the carbon just for the heck of it, even though I can't see it over the wrap. Got the skirts. Um, I'll take this one. Spoiler. And okay, we got this one. Not bad. That one looks a little bit kind of corny. Uh, let's see. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm All right. And from the looks of it, I cannot take off the spoiler, which is pretty sad actually. Um, I would have preferred actually the spoiler off this car. But um, again, Rockstar has made a vehicle where you can't remove certain options weird so actually you know what I might just keep the stock spoiler because I don't really like any of those either any of the other spoilers um ooh. but this thing does look good lowered down I will say the fitment is almost pretty good almost it's not 100% but it's almost good all right, let's go to the wheels. Now, I almost don't want to change these wheels. I've never seen these wheels before. They look pretty good. I think I'm going to go with these rims, but I think I'm going to go with them in chrome. Yeah, I like that. All right. It's not every day I pick chrome wheels to go on a car, but this is one of those rare times that I do. And this car looks really good. It looks really good as lowered as it is. Um... Alright. Put some heavy tint on it. Alright, now let's get to the color op uh, the color options here. Now this is already looking pretty good in black. I might actually go with black with this car. I'm not sure. Do we do it in green? And match it up with delivery? Nope. I think it would require a much Yeah, I think it would require a much brighter green. You know what? I think I might do black. Yeah, I'm gonna do the carbon black. Looks pretty good. Um, and then the color, um, can we get it green? Get like that green, um, I don't know. Like pearlescent. Put racing green. Yeah, let's do the racing green. Racing green looks better. Okay, and the secondary color, because that looks nasty, we gotta change that. And then the trim color. Um, we'll just keep it black. Crew emblem, not necessary on this car. Um, anything else we haven't changed on here? I think we might be good. I think so. Oh. One more thing we have to do. Here we go. Alright. Oh, wait. I just remembered. Alright. No lights. As well as the neons. How am I forgetting that? Oh my gosh. It's been a while since I've been on here, huh? We can do the mint green. This car looks pretty sick with this black on it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, looks pretty good. Of course, where it's nighttime, so it makes it a little bit harder to um look at. But let's take a look at it. Open up all the doors. Get a first person view of it at the inside. Now there is something different though from the last car. Um, it's not as um, it's not as like um crazy crazy good. At least when it comes to Itasha wise, the car itself is pretty well. It's pretty good. Uh, Performance-wise, I don't know yet because I haven't tested it yet. We'll find out in a second, but as in, like, crazy awesomeness-wise, at least with the uh, livery, I mean, it's pretty standard, even with the Itasha. I mean, the last Itasha had a, added a waifu pillow in the back of the seat, which, um, as you can see in this one, there is no waifu pillow in the back seat. Um, 
I mean, I guess I can see why because, I mean, you have, because I mean, people actually sit back there. Unlike the last car, they could have they could have put a uh, waifu pillow in the trunk. You know what, Rockstar, if you're listening right now, put a waifu pillow in the trunk. Okay, that would be like so freaking awesome. In fact, put a waifu pillow in the trunk along with a whole bunch of other figurines and a sound system. All right. I've been to uh, car shows, any Tasha events, and I've seen all type of crazy stuff like that. You want to copy Tasha, or at least try to get it, you know, 100%, I would suggest you do that, Rockstar. That, I think that would be so freaking awesome. Alright, let's hear the engine. Ooh. So I just heard some, um, some uh, electronic start in there. Hold up. Let me see. Yep, it's a push start. <laughs> Has that push start uh, sound to it? The engine is moving, even though it is very pixelated. <laughs> it's actually moving. I guess. I guess it makes the car look or seem alive more than usual. In fact, a lot of this is all pixelated. I mean, I can see right here. This is the battery, and looks like. Okay, honestly, I can't make out the rest. All I know is that one's the battery. Everything else is too pixelated besides the engine. I can obviously see the radiator. Um, engine's not too detailed at all. I'm going to get inside of it see how she drives. And, again, this is a sports car. Oh, hold up. I want to hear that. I want to hear it, though. I want to hear that noise. Hmm. I didn't hear it. Oh well. And oh gosh. Wait a minute. Let me see. Let me crouch down there. Yeah, that is. That's weird. Okay, so the um the int if I'm right, that looks like the the gauges look like the uh, gauges you would find in the electric cars in the game. I don't know why that's like that. Um, from what it looks like, yeah, it does say kilowatts. That's strange. This is not an electric car though. But it has a kilowatt gauge in it. Okay. Um <laughs> that's strange. Alright, let's uh let's drive. Let's drive this car. Mm. I'm loving that pop though. I'm really, really loving that pop. So this is a sports car. Now honestly, I don't truly know how good this will do in races. Um from what I'm looking at right now, it doesn't seem to be pretty fast at all. Oops, my bad. It doesn't seem to be pretty fast. But, I mean, it does seem pretty stable. Probably good for, um, free mode. Um, in order for me to see how fast this car will be, I'd probably have to take it into a race. But, um, so far, I mean... The handling's a little bit iffy, I will say. It's not the best. Eh. Kind of slides there if you uh, take the corner in hard. Doesn't seem to have any of those handling flags that I hear about. Then it seems to be pretty stable. Hmm. Seems to be a pretty good car. And once again, another Itasha by Rockstar. And it's very well done, too. I like it. I really like this one. It actually looks a little bit kind of like darker, but it's kind of cool. I like it. And um, I hope Rockstar continues to make more like these as well. So I can come back onto the game and play some more GTA. But, yeah, um, this is a pretty good car. Again, this is the Ocelot Jugular with the Ro Princess Robot Bubblegum Itasha on it. Uh, once again, this car is going to run you about two, $1,225,000. All right. But, um, yeah, that's all the time I have for today in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like as well as subscribe. But anyways, I hope to see you guys in my next one.